Renewal collections, while other fines and forfeits decreased by 396,000 due to lower false alarm penalties. Our projection for other franchise revenues increased by 661,000 due to higher than anticipated cable TV franchise receipts. On the expenditure side of the general fund, our projection increased by 13.8 million, mainly due to the aforementioned increase in BARC of $373,000 and then 314,000 increase in general services due to the maintenance costs associated with the Houston Transfer Building. But the major uh, increase is in general government that reflects the reimbursement of the prior year health benefits deficit in the amount of $12 million, $1.1 million increase for limited purpose annexation, annexation payments as a result of higher sales taxes and a budget transfer of $1.9 million from general government electricity cost contingency to PWE to cover uh, anticipated electricity costs. We agree with the controller on all the projections for the enterprise funds. So moving to the uh, risk management funds, as the controller said, we are projecting 14.1 million additional revenue in the health benefits fund uh, due to the prior year adjustment. For, uh, and that will come from various funds. Revenues in the building inspection fund increased by $7 million due to increased permanent and economic activity. Our projection in the DARLA fund decreased, uh, the revenues decreased by 2.3 million due to lower than anticipated collections, and as a result, our expenditures decreased by 1.2 million, primarily due to lower payments to the state. Uh, that neither of those changes will will affect our reimbursement this year uh, under the settlement with ATS. And the mobility response team expenditures decreased by 273,000 to reflect the remaining amount to be transferred to the general fund. Now that we have the FY12 actually in the funding fund balance, so thank you very much. That concludes our report. The best thing that I talked about was the um, increased permitting activity. Uh, uh, right now, $11 million in the building inspections fund, but that means that permitting is going great guns, and that is a good thing for the city of Houston. It should translate to higher property tax revenues, of course, down the line. Yes. Uh, Chair recognizes this comes from Burks. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I uh, come to a green eye. Understand these things. 
So we have to have an education to know what we're saying. And, and I'm not angry with you. I just want to just say this. Uh, I'm not I, plain. I, I certainly don't believe that you're angry, but I would say you know that I sat in your chair. And I think the reason why they have the budget and fiscal affairs committee the day before these meetings is so that those, and those types of issues could be hashed out. I'm not quite sure. I remember seeing you yesterday. Uh, and so that we went into great No, I was not even that. walking yesterday. Okay. And so that's what we went into great yeah. detail about that. So, uh, uh, you know, I had a part to mention you yesterday for your information. Mary gave it, but I wasn't here. Because I couldn't even walk. But what I'm asking you about your job is, is make it simple for the public to understand. Okay? All right, guys.